Atlanteans. So for today's video, we will be fixing up another brat stall. This brat stall I found at Value Village, which is basically like a Canadian Sabres. So as you can see, this is 99 Yasmin. I think it's the first version because there are a bunch of versions of her. She is wearing Funk Out Fiona's top and she's wearing her original pants. So that's really cool. However, I really want to make her like the bitchiest looking doll I have in my collection and I'm really excited about it. Oh my god. I found her for like $2.99 at Value Village. Um, I'm like kind of scared to touch her because they're doing this new thing at the Value Villages, at least in the one that I go to. They don't put the dolls into plastic bags anymore. They kind of leave them out. They kind of leave them out on like this bin full of like dolls where like everyone could go through. So yeah, um, little Nas, I'm really scared to see if there's mold on her. But regardless, I'm so excited to turn her into a Y2K baddie. Alrighty, so uh, let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is strip Yasmin of all of her clothes. And we're gonna see if there's anything we need to clean up specifically. Please, please. And we're good. So just because she looks clean doesn't mean that she is 100% clean. So what we're going to do is I've got a cup of some normal like Lysol cleaner, just like the liquid kind. And I got a little toothbrush and I'm gonna give her a good scrub down. I love this part, honestly, like it's just so relaxing to me. I don't know, and like the way that the bubbles form, look at that, it's like so satisfying. And when you're scrubbing down, I like, really recommend you like get in like every single crevice because with like thrifted dolls or like secondhand dolls at all you never really know what's hiding in the little corners Then at this point, I feel like since you never really know where it's been, um, why not start scrubbing the hair as well? Then after scrubbing her down, I'm just going to wipe her down with some tissue. Then in a really small container, I'm gonna put one part water, one part hydrogen peroxide, and a little bit of Lysol cleaner, and drop her clothes, like the clothes that she was in, into that, and give it a little shake. Then next, I put a little bit of soap around my sink, and then I'm gonna fill it up with some steaming hot water. You can just put it at the highest setting and that'll be good. And then I just dropped Yasmin in there just to give her a little soak. Give her a little bath. Look how cute she is. And after two or three minutes, I took her out and I just gave her a little rinse. Then I got whatever soap I had on hand and I kind of just ran my fingers through her hair. Um, this is basically shampoo. We're going to take this as shampoo and you're going to wash her hair.
then next i take my mane and tail conditioner we you know we don't do anything too fancy these are toys and uh we're gonna lather her hair in some conditioner i left the conditioner to soak into her hair for an hour and then i got my what bam i got an actual pet brush for my doll hair which is actually the type of brush you'd want to use on doll hair because um the pet brush has the metal teeth on it, whereas the plastic ones, um, because it's plastic, it pulls onto the plastic hair. So you'll actually want to use the metal one instead because it doesn't pull on any hair. You don't lose as much hair. In fact, while brushing her hair, I didn't lose any hair at all. So you do this until you feel like all of the knots are out. And of course, you're going to brush from bottom to top or from the ends of the hair to basically the doll scalp. After combing her hair for a while, I'm going to put her under some running water just to remove the excess conditioner. I'll put her in a little towel burrito and then we'll get to boiling. I put the boiling water into a glass bowl and then I kind of bobbed her head up and down in the water for a couple minutes. Then I've just left her head in the water for like three minutes. And then this is her after I completely boil wash her. I only did it once and you can see that like her hair is really shiny. I love how it turned out. Please ignore my messy room. <laughs> but it was interesting when I noticed that her hair was pretty short. I don't actually think she even got a haircut because um, 99 Yasmin's hair was already like kind of hip length and it was like curled too. So I think this is just what it looks like, but she's looking really good and I'm so excited. Yeah, and then we're just gonna leave her here for tonight to dry and then we're gonna style her tomorrow. Okay, so it's the next morning and this is what her hair looks like right now. You can see that it's like super shiny, super silky smooth. I think the boil did really good with her. So if we give her a little shake, yeah. And it's still shiny. Wow, I love her, okay. And I forgot to mention that I took out her clothes like at the end of the night and took them out to dry for the night and they are still a little wet so i'm probably just gonna leave it for a while okay so i finally got her all fixed up i did her hair i didn't end up making her as bitchy as i wanted her to look but i still think she turned out super cute and i'm really happy with how she turned out okay are you guys ready to like see her oh my god okay three two one ba -ba -ba. And here is how I dressed up my nighty night Yasmin. This is how I styled her. So yeah, as you can see, the hairstyle didn't really turn out, unfortunately. But I still think that this like side part thing is super cunty. This outfit is so bitchy. She's not as bitchy as I want her to be. I kind of overestimated what clothes I had on hand and like how her hair was styled because I think the original 90 Night Yasmin, her hair was just down, so there's not a lot of rooting, I don't think. So as you can see, I did just keep her hair straight down. I think that's uh, Forever Diamond's Vanessa shirt, I think. I could be also completely wrong. Gave her like this really tiny skirt, and I added my little Sailor Moon necklace. I just thought the chain like suited her, and like the little charm. I just thought that was really cute. And then she's wearing movie Yasmin shoes. Yeah, and then this is her, this is it. What do you guys think? I love her. I just think that she's so freaking pretty. I think these shoes make her legs just so long. Goddess. Oh my god. All right, y'all. So that is everything for this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking around into the end to see how she was going to turn out. I'm really excited. I have a couple more Bratz video ideas that I wanted to do, so I'm really excited about that as well. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Let me know what you guys think about this Yasmin. And I'll see y'all on the flip side. Bye-bye.